Hey guys, Matt here. Um, this is gonna be a quick little video on a new vehicle I got. Um, I bought a new truck. Now the reason I'm making a video on it is because I'm going to turn this into a bug out vehicle. Now, um, essentially what happened is my truck went in the shop to get a couple things done and it sucked that I didn't have another vehicle to drive because my wife's got hers, I, I just have my truck. And I thought, you know what, I need to get me a, a something spare, something backup. And um, while doing that, I thought, you know what, why don't I just go ahead and get something that I can drive for now whenever I need to, but then I can start turning into a bug out vehicle. So I started looking around a couple weeks ago and I found this. I got a really good deal on it. I'll tell you how much I paid for it, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it and I'll uh, go through the stuff I'm gonna do to it because I am gonna do a series of videos on getting this into bug out condition. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right guys, well here it is. Uh, as you can tell, this is a Ford. It's an F-150, it's a 1995, okay? Um, it is a just a single cab. It's got a long bed. This was a fleet vehicle for a sprinkler installation company that uh, did installs for commercial properties and things like that. This was, I think, one of their towing vehicles um, because it is a uh, a five liter 302 V8 with a five speed transmission. So this thing was made to pull. Um, but one of the cool things about it, as far as for a prep truck for a bug out vehicle is there's your 20 gallon gas tank and there's your backup 10 gallon gas tank right there. So it's got an extra gas tank, which is really cool. Um, hate the color on it. You can see where it used to be decals here for the company that it was, uh, but they did a really crappy color. It's this purple bluish crap and you can see where it used to be white. The truck was white at one point. Um, but uh, what's really, what, what I love about it, this was fleet vehicle number 69. That's pretty damn cool and perverted at the same time. Um, the tires on it, are, or the uh, wheels on it, are, are in pretty decent shape. Uh, missing a couple of the center caps on there, but the, on two of the tires. But the uh, wheels are at about 50%, so I'll probably replace the wheels and uh, keep these as, as spares. Um, the worst part about it is the tailgate's all chewed up. It's dinged up. It looked like they had something heavy in the back at one point, and it, it slid back and completely dented in and beat up the tailgate. It still opens and closes, but it's all beat up and cracked up here. Um, I'm going to get rid of this, uh, this bed liner. This bed liner's all chewed up. Uh, you can see they cut it out for a toolbox. Um, I'm going to get a camper on here, replace the tailgate, do the tires, paint it. I think I'm going to go with an army green I think is the color I want to go with on this um, uh, I want to put a spray bed liner in here I want to get a, uh, a, a bench seat I'm gonna to go to the junkyard and find me a good bench seat with seat belts on it and I'm gonna put it right here so that this vehicle can carry up to, at least up to six people and then I still have all this room in the bed for storage I'll have the camper on there um, so I'm gonna be doing a series of videos on this as it uh, you know, as I'm working on it, so that hopefully, you know, here, I don't know how long it will take me as money and time permits. Uh, you know, maybe in a few months here, I will have a completed bug out vehicle. Um, here's the interior of it. There's, you can see it's a stick shift. It's a five speed. Um, I did go ahead and put a radio in it because you need a good radio. Um, all in all, man, it's in really good shape, guys. Uh, the, the oil pan gasket is leaking a bit, so I'm going to replace that. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to do just standard maintenance on it, you know. Uh, but uh, other than that, it runs really good. It's got a good, strong engine. Let's uh, start it up here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But uh, good, strong engine. I'm really happy with it. Paid $1,000 for this. Um, so you really can't beat the price on it but uh, yeah guys that's it this is gonna be the uh, the future bug out vehicle I think I'm gonna put uh, like uh, never enough ammo on it or something who knows play around with it make it a little fun so anyway that's it guys appreciate you watching uh, and uh, again be watching out for videos on uh, as I get time and money to uh, pimp this thing out a little bit so we'll talk to you later guys thanks